Hey everyone's Dave here and welcome to Windlands 2 Overview. I think at this point you know my taste really well and this game seems to be so up my alley it's actually crazy. Story based adventure action with archery swinging just goodness of it all. Like I'm not sure why I've never tried it out before. I think it's because that the prequel was it came before my like generation of VR players. Nevertheless it's always great to see solid titles ported to the platform and it just enjoy it. <laughs> so Windlands 2 is an adventure action swinging archery game where either in single or multiplayer we're gonna get an opportunity to get back to the world of Windlands and fight our way through the titans and save the world. If it's a big reach or not, it kinda seems like a VR cartoony styled Shadow of the Colossus type of thing, like encountering big creatures, the environments designed around them, freedom of movement and whatever you want to do. The actual point of the game or its storyline the trailer doesn't really tell much about it that's pretty much my only worry going into it like i can see the polish the mechanics the gameplay is there gives very unique vibes in general and that it was thought out i don't really see it flopping since windlands was always known to be a series of the right quality called by the community we'll just have to see if the performance holds itself on the quest platform let's go swinging the lizard tribes once warred for control of the holy mountains Yet they existed in balance with the world and the holy site. To their world came a mad demon. And with it, human slaves bound by terrible magic. The creature set its malevolent gaze upon the sacred mountains. From the portal, its mechanical legions poured, laying waste to all they could find. The world grew sick, and fertile land became barren sand. Yet among the human slaves, a golden-eyed hero came who could turn the demon's power against it. In a final battle, the hero lured the demon into a trap and destroyed the creature. Okay, job done. With its death, the portal closed and machines fell. The natives, and their human allies, returned to a simpler life. Yet even dormant, the war machines remained dangerous. Among the humans, there are once more those born with golden eyes, able to harness the old magic. The Hunters. You are an apprentice hunter, journeying with your master. To an island of sacred mountains, dangers, and mysteries. Oh, I forgot it's a sequel. <laughs> Welcome to the training course, Hunter. You can skip training anytime you wish by pulling up your options panel. But training is important. Okay, let's get going. Use your controller to walk up to the next area. Let's not hang about. Like some Dragon Ball stuff. I'm really fast. You can turn using your controller or just by turning your own body. You can adjust the turning type by using this handy panel or by pulling up your options panel from your controller. Use turning and walking to navigate the path ahead. Good luck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, this is like a little bit intense. The windlands are low gravity. The longer you hold the jump button, the higher you will jump. Go on, run and jump the gap. Aha, well done! Now, let's look at your hooks. The most important tool you have. Your hooks can grab onto green bushes. 
and pull you towards them. Use your hooks to grab the bush and swing across the gap. Always remember to let go so you don't end up face first in a bush. Like the locomotion is very intense. I need to like swing it there. Congratulations on making your first swing. We will make a hunter of you yet. You can press your respawn button to respawn at your last checkpoint if you are lost or fall. Now, swing across the gap ahead. Use your left and right hook alternatively for best results. Don't forget to let go. Let your momentum carry you forward. I wonder what's the indicator of the checkpoint. Maybe this. So this is not for the beginners. <laughs> awesome swinging! You've got the makings of a true hunter. It's now time to learn your bow, the weapon of a hunter. Using your grip button, make a bow with one hand, then pull back an arrow with the other hand. Then let go of the arrow and watch it fly. You can practice here by hitting the gooby fruits on the wall. When you're done practicing with your bow, head over to the quest marker ahead. Everything's very smooth, like polished. That was some fine swinging, Hunter. You can change things like comfort or audio volumes at any time by opening your options panel. To open your options panel, either tap or hold the options button. You can then press buttons or turn the dials to make changes. You can now end the training from your options panel or the handy panel over there. Good job. Let's get to work. Yeah, we're good. You've won it. <laughs> I think we'll be playing this more. Darian! We're nearing the sacred mountain! Keep an eye out for danger! Though we'll see about the multiplayer. I wanted to keep it single for the sake of the overview because it's more quiet, but. Oh shit! Holy hell. Oh, oh, he's <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Aha! That was exciting! Looks like that one got away. Let's go hunting. Look alive. There's killer robots ahead. Mako's waiting for us by the village. I'll race you to the top. Aha! Off we go! <laughs> I will need to adjust to swinging and then kind of you know what I mean like this swinging mechanics kind of unique for this game. It's not the same as in the others. Just because it's so dynamic. Oh yeah, okay, you can do that. So that would be... <laughs> I'm falling. Do you have like a map or something? So the arrow kind of falls. 
but it's not like a huge one. This is not for the beginners. <laughs> But I'm failing too much. The hook is not that long either. At least in the perspective of the whole environment. Which is huge, like... You don't really see the end of it. It's like an open world. Lord, you're here. Toe here speaks highly of you. I need you to go ahead. There's a big one waiting to attack. Destroy it and retrieve the crystal power in it. Go on, go! Because the world is so big, I can't imagine playing it in multiplayer, like... It's well suited for it. Ah! You made it! I cleared out most of the droids in this area. See if you can shoot that last one down there. Oh. <laughs> Is it that one? Damn. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Like swinging and shooting is gonna be interesting. It's definitely a thing of learning the hook distance and adjusting to that. So far, I love it. It's definitely easy to learn, hard to master. It feels kinda empty because the world is so big. Like playing alone might not be the thing. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> Okay, so I have two hits up until I die. It depends on the difficulty because I was choosing the normal one just for now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it really feels like Shadow of the Colossus. Which I never played by the way, but it's very well known. It 
It's like a boss fight center the gameplay. Oh wow. I wonder if the hit points reset when I die. No, okay. <laughs> now I get why I'm so fast on the ground. <laughs> this stage is um, a bit annoying, like those side dunes. <laughs> it's also a matter of learning their patterns and stuff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but I like that it's so fast in a way that you don't wait a long time to respawn and you can just continue right away. Folk priest will be eager to see that. Take it back to the village and keep an eye out for more machines. They're feisty. More than usual. I shall return once I've learned more. Good luck. Awesome. Real quick, I just want to see the implication of the multiplayer. Uh, no one is playing for the moment. Okay. So we'll see once I'll do the playthrough because I think this is gonna be a very, very nice thing to have on the channel. Kind of have no notes, like it's very polished, fully realized project. I love the art style, the gameplay, like the whole philosophy behind fast-paced combat and dying over and over and returning to the arena real quick, like I suppose the only thing annoying is those dunes, like those perimeters that you can just very easily fall into and you die instantly. But that's a matter of practice and connecting the hooks with the environment and just working around with it. Performance move, art style lovely. Check, 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 like there's nothing to say about it.